and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Plank. That's what we're calling this one with Swain and Gangplank together. Uh, this is going to be kind of like a Gangplank Sejuani deck, kind of. Um, you know, like a mid-range uh, Gangplank deck that goes kind of big that has another good expensive champion alongside a Gangplank. Um, but we're going to be playing Noxus with Swain. We have all these different ways to deal damage to the Nexus to level out Gangplank, but then also just dealing non-combat damage is leveling up our Swain. Like Fortune Croaker is two for your Swain. Demolitionist is perfect with both champions. Um, you know, Nexus damage and a lot of damage all together. And then City Breakers, really good with both champions. Um, I want to. That's what I want to do. I want to play some City Breakers in here because you know, round start you're dealing one to the enemy Nexus. That's good for leveling up your Gangplank, and of course it's non-combat damage to level up Swain. But then when you have your leveled up Swain, your non-combat damage doing uh, Nexus damage is going to be stunning stuff. Uh, so yeah, kind of putting them all together. We get two boats also. We get a Leviathan and a Dreadway, so that's pretty cool. We get a double boat in here. We're going to have our Monkey Idol doing its thing. Monkey Idol deals two to itself. That two damage that it deals to itself levels up your Swain. So that's <laughs> convenient also, besides the one Powder Monkey damage. Uh, yeah, no Flock. Um, you know, we're, yeah, did it, not playing Flock, not playing Arachnoid Sentry. We're just uh, going to be attacking and and uh, trying to kill our opponent. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some Swain Plank. We're going to go take it over to Ranked. Okay, we got a Swain Mirror. They got Teemo Vandal City. I got Gangplank Bilgewater. We're going to send you back. All right. Can I send you back again? <laughs> yeah, we just drew our two monster harpoons. Not love these monster harpoons. Man, what are these cards that we've drawn? <laughs> so we've drawn our entire top end after our mulligan. We kept Jagged Butcher and Make It Rain. I guess we did keep one gangplank. Draw our entire top end. The day don't need riches. Persistence is key. No! Next thing I know, I'm up my bridges and purple berries. So I only have. Um, yeah, that's rough. Mana-wise, that's rough. I only have two of the eight drops with the boats, like one of each. <laughs> this is unreal. How much of the top end we're drawing? I'm surprised they did that, honestly. Okay, they have a flock. That's gonna do two and two, so that's four total, so that will level up my swing. Puts pressure on them. I don't know. Is that worth it? Maybe not. Things ain't like they used 
to be. You kind of hate how much of you know how much mana these harpoons are taking. Choked up. Think about how much mana they're taking up. Surprised they attacked with that three two. Now they don't have fearsome blocker. Gotcha. Alright, figured it out. Like, City Breaker plus Monkey Idol, like, would not have been a, that bad of a round either. You know, City Breaker is kind of like a small Leviathan, and then we have the Powder Monkey for a blocker. But getting Swain, we could maybe next round go like Swain plus City Breaker. <clears throat> Stun four things. I don't think the Teemo is going to kill me. Out. I'm pretty healthy life total. We'll just kind of see, like, we're asking questions here. You know, putting out pretty big threats. So we've drawn both of the eight drops. We've drawn two of our three sixes and four of the six fives. So basically the entire top end. So we do have a whole lot of ones and twos to be drawing still. I guess they have another Scorched Earth. Looks like. Wow. That was a lot of fuck caps. Alright, so assuming like they Scorched Earth Swain, maybe they can't kill these things yet. And we have like Dreadway to double the damage here, so it's like two, you know, so it's like eight damage total. Round start. Yeah. GG's. By my hand, Noxus rides. Grand General! Work, you dogs! Gangplank plus Leviathan and City Breaker. <laughs> want to know. All right, so last time we had the Swain Mirror, this time the Gangplank Mirror. Really good paired against similar decks a lot. And we have a lower curve. I like that. I think I'm just going to keep all of it. The City Breaker is like the card that, you know, you could maybe send back, but... So we have a good one. Like, we have a good <clears throat> early curve in the City Breaker is just a nice 4-drop that really enables both champions. And keep it. Yeah, the City Breaker is also a boat. Yeah, so we had Triple Boat in play. Good point. Triple Boat. How does this feel, opponent? Getting round 1 Crackshot Corsair attacked. 
<laughs> They're probably pretty used to doing that, people. How does it feel? If they don't break, they'll burn. All right, enabling. Uh, gangplank. Gangplank's two out of five. Strike at their foundations. We'll start with this thing. We want to get this point of damage in for the crack shot corsair. It does help out their monster harpoon. Man, we are a good deck to nab, though. Like, we have great cards for them to nab, right? Because, like, we have similar style cards. So, like, their nabs are awesome. And they have the Harpoon. That's so rude. Oh, uh, what a... That's a perfect round for them. Yorl Grifter, Nab, Harpoon. That was a perfect round. Maybe I should just attack with the crack shot corsair here also. Can you choose, like, no? Can you just choose no? Stop having harpoons for my city breakers! I just wanted to play city breaker today, why are you so mean? Okay, you can skip. Tedoros, you can skip. I guess it's kind of useless whenever we have a power keg right there. Born for conquest. Yeah, that's kind of useless. Should have killed like, the powder monkey. They're not going to have another monster harpoon, right? I, rarely I think that's against the rules. You can't have more. You can't have three monster harpoons. That's against the rules. <laughs> yeah, definitely against the rules. The ocean herself will fear us. There's no fighter sight. So they need two warning shots to frostbite all my stuff, but with with this, we'll still have. Alright, so they frostbite all my stuff. Fight for your life. But we still attack and do, what, like six dollar things? Yeah. Their bones are splinter. Yeah. Explosives! Show them our team. Are you kidding me? It's yours. Are you kidding me? The ocean herself will fear us. And then that's game. They had they had the mana to do all of that? I guess so. Real water is mine and mine alone. Your 
their pay. Man, this is a really, really disappointing game. They had the the two monster harpoons for both of my city breakers, and then these. Basically, since round four, they've had. <clears throat> you know, round four was a perfect round for them. And then these last couple of rounds also. I guess I need a third warning shot in here. My monster harpoons have been pretty rough in these two games. It'd be nice just to have City Breaker alive, right? City Breaker alive would, would have made just such a big difference. Like, they would, they would already be dead if we would have had that City Breaker alive. What's up, Enabled? Oh, I hear them. oh, I can't even block the Dreadway, so yeah, it's, that's game. Oh, sound bug GG. Alright, 1 1. Harpoon was the difference. They had two, I had zero. Whenever I drew mine, the game was already over. Alright, let's send those both back. We'll keep Butcher Make It Rain. Really hoping they have, for the one drops, really hoping they have the Fearsome. Right, because if they have the Fearsome, then the Make It Rain kills it. Treasure Seeker. Treasure Seeker also dies to make it rain. Alright, so no lurk. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. I should play the two demolitionists before attacking. Listen to me. <clears throat> Probably not. If they don't so break, this isn't help. I'm not really doing a good job of leveling up the gangplank with this, but it, it is helping level up the Swain. That was a perfect card. To hit off the... Yeah, you know, they they found that with the... Uh, predict. Perfect card to hit with Predict. For the Empire. Harpoon? No. <laughs> See, now we're drawing the warning shots. Need more harpoons in our deck. I think that's what we're learning. We always need more monster harpoons. Gotta go with the flow. The Just hit multiple death from belows. It's a 
pretty sweet life. Okay, so our Swain's leveled up, so the, these warning shots are like burst speed stuns. If we survive this, we're at 8, so good chance we don't survive. If we do survive, like, we're probably killing them next round, or, like, close to it. Go down to two. some blockers. Okay. What do you do? Gang plank? Oh, not as much as I was hoping. I guess if I would have used the warning shot last round, it would have been four, then use one this round, that's five, and then we're okay. Let's see if we can put it all together with like a a non awkward hand, like one that curves out well. Like I guess two two games ago we would have done great if we would have just had City Breaker stay alive. Like we definitely win, but the the harpoons were rough. I wonder if I'm supposed to keep harpoon because harpoon has looked really really good. Like last game we needed harpoon for sure. Two games ago we needed it. Two games ago we lost to it. We'll send it back. We are quite good at finding our one of Dreadway. It was, so what was it? Two games ago I said that we needed more warning shots than the last game. We had the warning shots that were kind of useless. Sounds about right. So giving them priority to allow them to play another unit. That worked out. Alright, something worked out for us. We got the 25% hit of them not killing our powder keg. They didn't have the lifesteal unit to block. Danger hmm. I do have the ability to try to fervor to level up Swain. But against their deck, I just don't think that fervor is going to resolve. I guess if I fervor the Swain, maybe it does. But I'll just be patient and we'll just do this and we even have like Monster Harpoon. Alright, so they've tossed every go hard. Alright, level up Swain. 
Down to six. They're gonna get two good blockers. Nothing like a stink of blood and sweat. Get to work. Close to level up gangplank, but not quite. Hey, just a five six. Seven seven. Let's get to it. Is this attack worth it? So they have seven seven block Swain, five six block Gangplank. Take five, go to one. Yeah, we can harpoon. That's true. We can just harpoon here and try to get that overwhelm in. Probably worth it. Okay. That was worth it. Get in before Nautilus. And we are now 2 and 2. GG Soundbug. Can we get our revenge on Gangplank Sejuani? Hopefully, they don't have the harpoons like they had last time. Those harpoons were a killer. I don't know about Sprayfin. We already... Alright, so we got one drop, one drop. Like, Sprayfin's pretty nice to just fill the curve in the mid-game. Uh, Punished. Uh, really punished. Let's get the crew. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Ultra punished. Yeah, so if I would have just opened attacked and they make it rain, then I, I don't do any damage to them, so then I don't go towards leveling up my uh, my gangplank. Oh my gosh! What are these draws? I kind of want to monster harpoon that just so then you know using my mana and everything. I do five non-combat damage for Swain. Oh, probably don't. Oh, I just got to hold on to that for a gangplank. I'm not feeling too good about this though. They've done a really good job with those mega rains. Why are you here? <laughs> All right. Good block. I'm not sure if I should just get the Swain in play. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So they're out of Mega Rains. Man, that's a good card. Unless, I guess one of those Mega Rains could have been mine. That was a good round for them. Let them find hope in the rubble. Neither the flames nor the depths can claim me, Captain. I got so punished for keeping that spray fin. That was just such a bad idea. So that levels up Gangplank, and I don't really know how I'm going to kill this Gangplank now. I can force them to use the Warning Shot, I guess. Get that out of their hands. Wow! They could use the Warning Shot to save it, but they didn't. Wow, 
Wow. They didn't save. Victory awaits. That gangplank definitely killed me. Yeah, I mean, they just always have the perfects. The this deck never has a forehand, does it? <laughs> Alright. Hopefully hit the Nexus and stun. Of course not. That deck will always curve out into both champions. So it was a very bad keep by me with that spray fin, and it just got worse with then, you know, right afterwards drawing you know, the second spray fin and Swain, and then, you know, whatever, Dreadway, I guess. I think we had Dreadway all five games, like, right away in our opener, didn't we? So we just... Uh, so couldn't really curve out, you know, like, Monkey Idol. Like, why can't I ever get a Monkey Idol on three? That would have been nice, one game, to have a Monkey Idol. We did one game have City Breaker on four, but that was the game that they had all those harpoons. We could definitely... So I wanted to go... You know, I didn't want to do the exact same thing as Gangplank Sejuani with Black Market Merchant, Yordle Grifter, but, you know, maybe that's better. You know, the Demolitionist can be Black Market Merchant, the City Breaker can be Yordle Grifter, um, and, you know, you can basically just do the same deck with just having Swain Leviathan, um, you know, instead of Sejuani, right? Like, you know, you can play that exact same deck if you want. But I wanted to do uh, these other things that can also do Nexus Damage. All right, anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments about Swain Plank. Let me know. I I really don't think that you're going to lose like all the time to Gangplank Sejuani. They had two really, really good hands, and so we lost both times. But I can't imagine they're going to have like those good of hands all the time, right? Like especially that first one. If they just don't have one of those monster harpoons, we win the game. Or if we have a single monster harpoon, we win the game. Right, like if either of those happened, even with their really good hand, um, you know, if there's one less harpoon on their side, or I just have one harpoon, it would have been fine, but neither of those were the case. But anyway, uh, that's going to be it for Swain Plank. So, yeah, give this deck a try. Let me know how it goes for you if you've been looking for a new uh, Swain deck. I think, it, think it's uh, going to be a pretty good one. I could see taking out the Dreadway, honestly, and just, you know, getting like, an getting, like another City Breaker in here or something, because. We had the Dreadway in every single game, and it never mattered in any game. Like, I guess it it did help us win the one game against the Team Timo Swain deck, but I think we probably would have been okay in that game without it. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we needed it there. But yeah, we always had this in our. This was one of our first five cards we drew in all five games, and so that that was pretty annoying. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it though for Swain Plank. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.